I've been crunching some of the numbers, um, not just in the preseason, but last season, the last couple of seasons. And from what I've seen so far, just in the preseason, especially this last game, I think the Warriors are going to be huge contenders for this year's NBA championship. Reason why. First thing that I'm going to tell you is, these were the stats from yesterday, or the other day. You had Curry had 30 points, 5 assists, 4 rebounds. Chris Paul, 13 points, 9 assists, 6 rebounds. Clay did not have a hot night. He only had 5 points, but came in with 4 assists, 7 rebounds. Wiggins had a good night. Uh, the new the, the rookie had a good night. Of course, Kaminga. Kaminga has been going off lately. It's great to see it from him. And even the new center, sorry, 14 points, 3 assists, 6 rebounds. What does that mean? That means you are now going to see a Warriors team that is tough to make one-dimensional. Before, you know, if Draymond had the ball, he's the distributor. You could just sag off of him. You could. And then if Curry was hot or if Curry was in, then it made it tough to be able to for, you know, defend pick and rolls if you were sagging off of Draymond. But now having Chris Paul, what does that do? It makes the defense have to spread out a good bit. And that's what we saw. And I know people are like, dude, it's a preseason game. It's preseason. It doesn't matter. Yes, it doesn't matter. But when you see the Kings leave their starters in the entire game, or especially to the, the, the final buzzer, when Curry hits a step back three to finish the game, a game winner, yeah, game winner over De'Aaron Fox. Yeah. Then we continue, you know, the last five seconds, see De'Aaron Fox miss a game winning three. But you're seeing – just in that one game of full intensity the whole time, we look different. There's not a time on the floor where it's like you have to cover your eyes because Curry's on the bench, and now we're spitting out five to seven points over the matter of five, ten minutes. Like, no, now you're seeing it as when Curry goes out, it allows Chris Paul to play his game. You know, hold on. This is what I thought the Lakers should have looked like when they got Russell Westbrook. But no. No, what did they do? They let LeBron be the primary ball handler. And then what they do to Russ, a guy that's average triple-double, a guy that his entire career has been the point guard, they put him in the corner. They put Russ, they put Russ in the corner and said, hey, just be a spot-up three-point shooter. What? Yo, like, no, no, no. no. See, and that's, that's why I will forever cherish, cherish the Warriors organization. That is the smartest move that they could have done was, yes, bring him in, but then allow him to play his game. Would it have been crazy if we got Russell Westbrook? You dang right it would have been crazy. But I love the fact that Chris Paul has a high IQ. I love the fact that we are using him how I think he should be used. But it is a fun thing from my end to be able to see this kind of, uh, you 